it's the start of the month and I have to think what month it is. I think June. These months have been going quickly since COVID. In any case, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, what have we had show up? We've had electronic circuit board cleaner, two tins off. Um, good stuff from JCAR. I use it all the time. Um, they have changed the style of the container from this, which is the last one that I used. So, uh, which is almost empty. In any case, we've got something else here. Now, I really need to see if VCF will sponsor me. Instead of ration packs, this couple of months I've bought dehydrated meals, which these are actually quite nice. You just pour some hot water in them and zip lock them up and out comes a hot meal. It's good stuff, especially when I've got a boiling vessel in the six wheel drive ambulance. Um, got cooked breakfast. This is really nice, actually. Um, not too salty, not too sweet. Cottage pie. This must be one that my... Uh, Senior financial manager picked out. Satisfying mix of freeze-dried savory mince, vegetables, and potato. Okay, that could be interesting. Um, honey soy chicken. I know that one's good. What else have we got in here? More honey soy chicken. Wow, there's a quite a few in here. What else do we have? Um, more cooked breakfast. The, the 175. This makes more than half a kilogram of uh, breakfast. It's a good meal. Um... All right, another honey soy. I think we might have bought everything they had on the shelves. Let's have a look here. Beef teriyaki, that's a good one. Um, what else have we got? More beef teriyaki. Let's have a look here. We've got uh, honey and pasta hot pot, beef and pasta hot pot. I haven't tried that one before. That'll be interesting. Um, what else have we got? Oh, this looks like apple pie. This is really nice. It is really good. You should do that. Um, okay, uh, more cooked breakfast and, um, oh, a new one, a uh, chicken carbonara. Okay, so we have quite a lot here. We'll restock the amber. In any case, let's see if something else more channel specific shows up and we'll see what we get. All right, so a couple more deliveries have showed up. One is 100 AAA batteries. I have to top up occasionally. But these are handy things to have. And uh, I got a new multimeter, which I opened in the field. This is going to go in with the group of about 100 other meters that I've got. Um, but this is the Digitech QM1527. And apparently this has non-contact voltage detection. Um, the specs are here for the spec nerds that are interested. Um, this has a couple of features over the $20 one that I was interested in. This was about $25. One of which is you have the I don't want to touch it connectors on here so you can poke in things like that. And apparently it has um, non-contact detection as well. The power button is separate to the backlighting which is kind of nice. So you can leave it set on what you want and turn it on and off. And this feature apparently you can poke it at mains voltage stuff and it will beep. Um, I need to find a way to test that. So one of the ways I like to test the uh, non-contact thing is I just static up my shirt and then I get all staticky. I just run it up and down here and as I static discharge I've got one hand on the uh, earth strap and as I touch this it'll beep. Until I run out of static charge I'll touch the static strip and then I won't do it anymore. Not very much I need to hold on there just a few more seconds now I'm discharged, I won't really do it anymore, but it does work. Quick little look at the probe, it did have these little plugs in the end of the probes. Uh, I lost one of them in the field, though we will probably never get put back in again. They don't fit back in the holes here. It's not waterproof, but that doesn't matter. Volts, milliamps, and I can set what I need to. The nice thing about meters like this is if we go back out to a different zoom level, I like to roll the leads around like this, which are not the greatest, and I clip the probes in like that. Things stay largely, once you've got the cables trained, things will stay largely in position. I will probably replace these with some silicon cable, and uh, that has not sat in there quite right, but we'll find a way to make this work. Either way, for a $25 meter, this is going to live in my four-wheel drive. I've got a clamp meter that lives in the uh, six-wheel drive with probes. Just going to be a nice little backup meter, and it's not too bad for 25 bucks. Anyway, we'll see what else shows up. 
All right, so it's early in the morning and Express Post have woken me up. Why was it that they woke me up? Well, I guess they had a delivery for me. Let's have a look at what this delivery is. They don't recall what I ordered. Um, and it's in two cardboard boxes. All right. All right, we have two cardboard boxes. These are business cards for the Aussie Repair Guy. All right, these have my phone number on them, so let me just redact that and show you what they look like. All right, we can take one out now. There's a bit of black tape covering my email and phone number. I learnt from a previous video that people working out what my mobile number is is a bad idea. And that was when I was a much smaller YouTuber. So, I think there are... How many? This is a box of 250. I think there are... A thousand of them. Last time I bought 500 of these and uh, they disappeared actually quicker than I thought. A lot of people have asked for these. Um, mainly because uh, when I'm out filming and people are like, hey, can I get in touch with you about what you filmed? Or if I need to uh, get permissions for a location, all that sort of stuff. I give them a business card so they can have contact with me. Or generally people see me with the six wheel drive or the eight wheel drive or just doing general stuff they ask about the channel so I give them a card so yeah the link has obviously changed a bit with the way YouTube does things now but uh, it still works so uh, not too bad I should probably put a QR code on it next lot but uh, these ones I needed them in a hurry so I just repeated the same order but I have business cards anyway let's see what else shows up all right, the postie has been, and uh, I dipped into my uh, disability pension, a little, my disability fund a little bit, to get some of this stuff because I desperately needed it. All right, let's have a look what showed up. And some of the big purchases I've made here have not been from YouTube revenue. They've come out of my TPD insurance fund, which is technically a super fund. And, uh, I need a new camera bracket too, apparently. All right, let's see what's in this box, box, which is too hard to fit on camera. So we have some wheel bearings, um, which there's going to be a few of these. Um, these are for the Land Rovers, because I have a six by six and a four by four. Now I already have two wheel bearing kits set aside, which is four of these bearings. But I have eight more wheels to do um, to complete things. So that means I need 16 wheel bearings. Where are we? There's some more. There's another one. And another one. Oh, by the way, if you're doing parenti stuff, here is the part number for these. Um, these are for the Land Rover parentis. And uh, while I've been criticised for not knowing this stuff from birth, um, the front and the rears all use the same bearings. Now, there is also... What's this? This. Let's move these aside. They're all wheel bearings. Let's come over here a bit. This, I believe, is a thermostat. I have a thermostat problem. Um, in the six-wheel drive, I'll just cut to a little bit of footage here for a second. So as you can see, I think I have a sticky thermostat. Basically the idea behind these guys is that uh, as your temperature gets up, this bit lifts up and starts letting water through the radiator instead of just through the heater core. Um, good stuff. Definitely needed one of those. These are about $70 each. I should probably do one in the 4B as well as the 6B, but I can't afford it at the moment. Um, that is the part number here for them. I did approach the supplier of these, which is KLR Auto, to see if they wanted to sponsor me. They didn't get back to me. Um, so maybe I'll try again another day. So I have um, radius arm bushes. Now I have to do both radius arms. I had two of these already kicking around. So I only needed two additional bushes um, to do both radius arms. Now I have the, these are the 
Teflon bush kits for the radius arms. That's going to go on the 4B because um, I've already done the standard rubber ones on the 6B. So I may change them over for these in the future when I can afford it. I didn't know these existed when I ordered the other ones. That's the part number as well, also from KLR. Now, what else have we got? Ah, this is this is an essential bit of kit. This goes with the thermostat. This is the new ceiling ring that goes around the top of the thermostat when you change it. You really do need to change this gasket when you change the thermostat. Bad stuff happens otherwise. Now, we have another mystery bag full of stuff here. This looks like dry flange seals. These look like all the washers, the um, uh, lock washers to go on the shafts. And these would be a whole bunch of hub seals to go with the wheel bearing kits. So we have a lot of parts kicking around for the Land Rovers now. This is going to take me months to get through installing all of this stuff, but uh, hopefully I'll have things fairly good. I do have $1,100 of bushes that showed up a couple of months ago to do on the rear of the six wheel drive as well, but I may be paying somebody to do that. That's going to have to wait until I can afford the money for that. In any case, um, maybe if I get a few more channel members, I can afford to do this stuff. Anyway, see you when the next lot shows up. All right, so uh, deliveries and donations continue. I'm back from the uh, the chemo ward where I get uh, infusions of Tysabri for MS, so excuse the bandage. It's coming up with a cannula wind tin. Anyway, uh, a couple of uh, donations, or I guess, well, these were more purchases on the way. Uh, they actually charged me an extra for an extra switch on this, so I'm going to ring them up and tell them. Anyway, um, I have some bits and pieces. I've got a four-way AA battery pack, a collection of switches, an Arduino Uno, and uh, a 14-segment alphanumeric display. I'm going to be upgrading the um, the kitchen timer. The one I made out of a DigiSpark and a little OLED display has been wildly popular, but uh, by the time I loaded up all the, uh, the the libraries needed to run the OLED display on a DigiSpark, I had about five kilobytes left to write the rest of my timer code, which meant there was some corner cutting. So this, hopefully I should have a bit more space to code on this. Anyway, we'll see what else we get and uh, we'll move on. So I had another delivery some bypass pruners, also known in my vernacular as secateurs. We have a rose bush at the back that has not flowered in some time. I think it's all the rose hips that are on it. So uh, we'll go and trim it. But uh, in terms of tools, I thought it was relevant to this channel. There was a whole bunch of selections and a bloke there uh, gave me a suggestion for some very good secateurs. I went and bought the $2 set because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be doing this job a lot. But uh, we'll see how we go with a $2.50 set of bypass pruners. Anyway, let's move on and see what else we get. All right, also up on the deliveries are some brass hose fittings. Not the most expensive ones, but hopefully more robust than the ones we keep running over with the five ton six wheel drive Land Rover. In any case, um, these are pretty standard hose fittings. They're a compression fit and uh, the quick release ones, which are good. I understand that a vast majority of my viewers are from America and they don't have these quick release fittings here. They're pretty much like air fittings. I don't know why these are not a, like an international thing. They're actually a really good idea. You get plastic ones typically, but these were only like 10 bucks or something for the set. You even get a nozzle, which technically doesn't comply with water restrictions these days, but you know, it's a brass nozzle we can use for something. In any case, um, these are handy. Something also in the donation category is a uh, hand wind torch. I had one of these years ago and uh, they have the option of all lights or one in the middle. And uh, you've got a charge port for your phones, which are like phones from the 2000 era. But uh, I'm not sure what kind of batteries there are in these. I've never opened them up to have a look, but it would be worth checking it out one day. I might just donate this to my apprentice who likes to leave things on until they go flat. This might be a better idea for her. Anyway, let's see what else shows up. Okay, we have a delivery from the USA now. And I know what this one is. Some time ago, uh, my wife was gifted by a close friend a set of earrings. And they were handmade earrings. And uh, she'd lost one. So recently I found the supplier of them 
inquired whether or not they'd make another set and they actually they were going to make just the one for us but I said look get a second set because there's a good chance you'll lose another one and uh, they finally arrived this has been some uh, quite some uh, trip that it's done and a whole process but these are hand carved as well so these were made specially on demand for this very nice set of earrings and they're uh, modeled after a, um, a hummingbird feather these ones so definitely um, well worth it and so uh, yeah full credit to the uh, lady that operates this one. anyway we'll see what else shows up hopefully it'll be something interesting looks like there might even be a couple of spare beads in here it's all good stuff we'll see you later well that pretty much wraps it up for June donations and deliveries I'm not sure what's going to show up next month it could be a bit quiet um there's a few things that have happened that are going to consume some money so I don't know what we'll get but uh it'll be interesting to see what we do anyway hope it was fun see you next month <laughs>